Alright, you're here with Jacob Walcott. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This video that I'm making here is one of the first videos that will basically demonstrate how to connect a gaming controller to your Android mini PC and how it works and what is required. I have a basic PC controller. So the two must be connected at the same time to your device. How this is possible is with a splitter. A USB splitter to connect more than one device. So you plug in the splitter to your host part. This that I have here is a MK8092 Android Mini PC. It's connected via HDMI port. To get the controllers to work, first thing you need splitter to have both devices plugged in at the same time. Next thing you need to do when you enter a game, well, this game that I'm running here is dead trigger for the gamers out there. So you go into settings and customize gamepad and when you go into customize gamepad you will be able to set your own layouts and where you want the controller to go save and exit back select the game play this one that I have here this is the move walk the next one I have is for my viewing angles so when I see like this one this is for my viewing angles this is what I have set to shoot to reload I have up so to tap the face I have these buttons set here Kinda hard for me to play with one hand, but <laughs> that's no problem. Um, next common game, beach buggy. So you could use your PlayStation controller, your normal house computer, even if it doesn't have the dogs, any controller. Tap to play. Options. Controls. So all you need to do is to go into controller settings and as you can see on top, gamepad. Touch, touch, tilt, gamepad, and that's it. Play. This game, you could use your analog stick or your controllers to drive. So as you can see, controller works perfectly fine. To close off your apps in the background. Next game, Riptide. Options, settings, controls, game pad. So in this game you could use either or to control. And the next joystick is when you are in the air to do tricks with. So that's 
Riptide there for you guys. Could also play Racing Thunder too. Don't feel limited. Do your research. Your FIFA fan, put on your football games, run them normal. No need for a PlayStation when you have something mobile like this, you can put in your pocket and walk with. Single player, instant race. To set it up to go, you just go in your controller and your options. Controls. This game do not have a gamepad support or anything. All you need to do is take off your accelerometer and it will give you control of it. Most games, same way. Do not have the controls or the support for it and you can just take off the accelerometer and your game will work. As I said previously, from an Android 2.6 and up, Google has made the software to recognize any USB or any controller that is connected to it. So as you can see, So, for the gamers out there, your shooting game, modern combat, these different things, gamepad setting, games run, basic games, Angry Bird, Hill Climb, use it with the mouse, games work perfectly good, no problems. People don't turn that on Tobago, hope you like, and you have an alternative gaming system for under 100 US.